So the purpose of this video, I want to know how much faster the car goes when it's cold. So what we did was six runs, three runs in each direction, each in each direction to eliminate the effect of wind and to eliminate any effects of gradient, private road. Very important to add that. Here is what we found out. So at the moment, it's around eight Celsius. Okay, so we've got the acceleration runs. I'm just gonna take, cut out the performance box, go in, um, and then have a look at the acceleration. I'm so I'll put the temperature on it. And then later today, this afternoon, we'll come back and we'll do it when it's um, warmer. I'm just finishing up. Hopefully the temperature is up to 17, 18 as promised by the weatherman. And then we're just gonna do the, another six runs. I'm not sure if it's gonna make any difference. It's gonna be like a tenth of a second or something is what I'm thinking. Uh, but nevertheless, let's go and do it. Let's go and find out. That's it, that's the, all the runs done. Right, so this is a, a re review of the data. I'll put a link to this data in the, in the blog post. I'll put a link to the blog post in the video description so you can see it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you the table. I'll just explain to you what we're looking at here. So this is the temperature in Celsius of the runs. And this is the acceleration time from 115 to 140 kilometers an hour. If we average out the acceleration times over the three runs, we get four second for the low temperature runs, i.e. 9, 9 and 10. And if we average out the acceleration times for the high temperature runs, we get 4.3. If we average out the temperature of these runs, so we're looking at 9.3 for the low temperature runs and 17.7 .7 for the high temperature runs. So the acceleration time difference between the two sets of runs was 0.3 seconds and the temperature difference was 8.3 Celsius. The car is 7% slower for an 8.3 Celsius change in temperature, which in my opinion is massive. So there's the figures. Like I said, I'll put a link to all this in the uh, blog post so you can take a closer look at it. It's pretty conclusive, you know. Temperature makes a huge difference to, to acceleration times. So this is a very quick addendum to the previous two two sets of runs. The reason I'm doing this is because the fuel between the runs was different. So I'm just gonna do another run now. I just wanna check that the acceleration times I'm gonna get are consistent, just to eliminate fuel as a possibility to distort the results. So we've got 12 Celsius now, like I said, more or less bang in the middle of where we were before, of the other two uh, temperature tests. So we're gonna be looking at acceleration times of around uh, 4.05, 4.1, uh, 4.1 in that region. So we're just going to do a quick up and down and now find out where we are. No word of a lie. This is, this is the data that we've got. The average acceleration time at 12 Celsius, bordering on 11 Celsius, is 4.0 seconds. Almost exactly what we would expect it to be. So we're gonna be looking at acceleration times of around uh, 4.05, 4.1. Nothing changed. Uh, except the uh, fuel from one gas station, one from another, and you can see here this made absolutely no difference. This is exactly what we would expect at 12 Celsius. The car is 7% slower for an 8.3 Celsius change in temperature. 